The next icon which you can do is this passbook icon. So insert our shape and we will use the similar method as we have used for the notes icon. That is, we will use a gradient fill which will kind of uh, simulate these three stripes of color. So zoom in with over the shape, change the fill to gradient fill, delete the middle one and for the first one change the color to blue maybe this one and to make it easier we will probably switch those two and change the gradient direction just like this so for the second gradient stop we will change the color to a little bit darker blue maybe this one then we will add the green and a darker green like this and finally we will add the orange color okay now we will move those gradients up as close to each other as possible so we will create a straight jump from one to another like this maybe this dark green is too much dark we'll make it a little bit lighter okay also the top blue is too much saturated we probably want more to the blue and lighter Okay, now we want to add this semicircle, so we'll insert shapes, chord, draw it like this, add a line to no line, change it just about to be a half circle, with over this icon and change the blue color to the dark blue. This is not it, it's probably this one. Okay, and now we want to add this dotted line and we can insert new shapes new line and set it, set it to dotted line quite easily but there is not much but we can adjust because if we set it to bigger spacing make it rounded by setting the cap type to round you can see that those dots are quite you know distant distance from each other so we will probably not use the dotted line but insert uh, text box with dots instead. So insert a new text box, set it to no outline, no fill, you know, change it, mer change the margins to zero for all sides. And we want to insert a circle, which is probably in every shape. So we don't have to select a special one. For example, in here, there is some dots, so we can insert it, paste it multiple times. And if we jump into the home ribbon font settings, we can adjust the spacing to make it condensed and closer to each other. So if you make it this way, copy a few more times, maybe one more dot, change the font color to darker green. We have the transition which we want can probably move it further away like this you can see that this orange color should be probably a little bit lighter so we can adjust it you just have to click on the right gradient stop 
So this can be a little bit more to yellow, like this. Okay. Also, the this transition transition should be a little bit more to the top. So I will make move this and move both this orange and green gradient stops just a little bit. Okay, this is better. The only thing which is missing are those three icons. So we can insert new text box. I will type in X in here so I can find it later. Change the font color to white. No, no outline, no fill. Adjust the spacing. Set the margins to zero. Duplicate this text box three times. And for the plane, we will use probably Webdings font. There is a plane somewhere in here. I swear I've, just, I've seen it there. Okay, here it is. For the camera, we will use our camera which we've used previously for the from the CGI UI symbol font. It's somewhere around here. should be somewhere. There it is. And for the coffee you will probably use this coffee icon. So all you have to do is position everything properly, rotate this plane, like this. Show the selection pane, select everything, Group it together, rename it to I don't know what it was. Facebook icon and move it to the first page. 